of the main the main topics was that um, the elephant man, Joseph Merrick, had the disease. As you can imagine, that scared a parent to death. As his doctor explained to me that he was only one of 150 in the world. I just thought that like that's how every kid grows up. Like every kid has a leg length discrepancy or everyone has feet that are different sizes. I never really thought that it was anything weird. We've been told <laughs> for the past two years, every six months, he's only got six months. So when you find out that there's a possibility that in the next six months he could be better, it's one of those things that you try not to get your hopes up. You have to remember the reality of things right now but it's the only hope we've had for him in years, so it's kind of exciting. We're talking about how this is working, how it's making a difference, and how these kids are gonna survive, and I get to see, here it goes. <laughs> I finally get to see these kids smile and have hope. I think that personalized medicine is possible and is the future. It's really a, an important message. You wouldn't see anything in a younger patient because instead of growing an area, he would now develop normally. We really are committed to these people as individuals and this disease in a way that's very much more personal and meaningful to us than just finding the cause of a disease and publishing a paper. This condition was finally getting the attention it deserved and people actually wanted to help new kids who were being born with it. Her latest scan, we can't even see the disease. This is Ern, this is my big brother. That amount of time was enough time that he got sick enough that he couldn't take any drug. Of course that she had an incredible improvement in time of cancer because that she doesn't have any uh, relapse. He just might not wake up one day. It's just amazing.